is, as everyone knows, my favorite band in the universe, Ookla the Mock. That's O-O-K-L-A, the M-O-K, Ookla the Mock. You can see their stuff at ooklathemock.com. And that's my first topic for today is Ookla has finally got a new album out. Really? You just heard the first uh, track from it. It's called Welcome to the Con. And they have a, it's a mini album, really. It's a five track mini mm -hmm. album. You can pick up at CD Baby, Amazon.com, at their website, uh, a bunch of different places. Um, I've known um, Rand and Adam for going on 15 years now, almost 20 actually. And um, I got to tell you, every time I listen to them, I laugh my ass off. Um, and I encourage everybody, it's only five bucks. It's a dollar for for each song on the mini album right now. They're back in the studios though. They're working on new stuff, but the new album is called Nerdvana. <laughs> epicness, <laughs> epicness in a cup. It's got that one. It's finally got an actual track to Math. Now Math is a song that longtime Ookla fans know. They've they've had the song for like 15, 20 years. It's basically Math problems put to music, um, but they've never done it as an actual track on any of their actual studio albums. It's always been something in their live albums. So this is the first time you actually get math as an actual track album. It also has um, Medieval Evil Knievel and um, Tantric Yoda, which by that far is one of the funniest song. ones. I, I love that. Really that really was one. hilarious. Oh, yeah. Um, they, you know, they've been threatening to go back to the studio for years. And, and, one of, and their last song on there is one that they were originally going to do and they might still be doing for their kids' album. They were going to do a kid's album, which is like 26 minutes long. Um, Adam was telling me one day, because that's the exact length of time it takes normally a child to go to bed. All right? So um, they were going to do this, this album called Go to Bed. And the first track was called Go to Bed. And it's all about you know how two parents have come together and, and their love, one magical moment, brought you into this world. And they, they cherish you and adore you and want nothing but the best for you. But so help them God, if you don't get in that bed right now, they're going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that song uh, the other day when we went to Denny's, and I got to admit, that was hilarious. Yeah, good bed is good hilarious. Stuff. Good jump, stuff. jump, jump, jump. <laughs> There's actually a YouTube, if you if you look up Ookla the Mock on YouTube, and go, Ookla the Mock, go to bed. There's a live pr uh, performance of them doing it in a bar. Why in a bar? I have no clue. Well, it's perf it makes perfect sense, you know? Nobody's there with their kids. So everybody hopes that their kids are going to bed at home, or it's just for good laughs because everybody's having multiple beers. Why not? There you go. <laughs> but um, so that's that's my first tidbit for the day. Is Ukla the Mock is back? Go to their website, buy their album, five bucks for a good twenty minutes worth of laughs, you know, and and share the wealth. Let all your friends know that Ukla's back. Do they happen to have their con schedule set up on the website? Um, as you far know? as I know, they're not doing any cons right now. I'd love to get them into um, Albany Comic Con, but you know the the logistics of having an actual live band over there, I don't know how that would play. Um, in in earlier times, like I've known them since the mid '90s, um, and back then they used to play Wizard World. They mm -hmm. played um, um, what's the one in Atlanta that's blocking my memory now? Um, the the big gaming one, Dragon's Quest, Dragon Con. That's Dragon it, Dragon Con. Con. Yeah. They've done a con in in the UK, yeah. uh, Canada. They've been all over. In fact, um, they used to um, front for Gwar <laughs> back when Gwar used to play at um, Wizard World in Chicago. Yeah. So I'd love to see them again at a con. That would be cool. The last con I saw them at, I was actually part of the nerd herd. Now, <laughs> there's a story behind that, Rick. Um, they get their friends to basically come out in costume. And it, it's basically like Little Shop of Horrors, where they... The, well, when they're doing a certain song, like they're doing Arthur Curry, which is all about Aquaman, right. one of their friends comes out dressed as Aquaman. When um, they do like Mr. Worf, everybody comes out dressed as Starfleet security guys. And and the friends that get together and go to the shows and do this for them is like a, a, a mosh pit kind of performance. They're referred to as the nerd herd. And and that's basically, you know, I've, the last con I went to see them at, I was one of the nerd herd. It was 2007 in Buffalo. I'd driven up because... Um, the entire concert was being recorded for a documentary by Tom Hanks' brother. And um, so they were, I haven't even heard what the, the status is on that. But um, like I say, they're a great band. I love them to death. 
everybody that, you know, go to their website, listen to their stuff, you'll have a ball. Yeah, it's really good stuff. I've heard a few of their songs, I don't know, roughly about five, and they were all quality songs with real creativity. The music was catchy. It was just good fun, so... It is. It's it's they're they're a they're a great band, and I'd love to see them get you know the the promotion that they deserve. They Absolutely. need to really get out there in the market. Absolutely. All right. So so I got a list of topics. 